Hello everyone and welcome to Maker Monday. My name is Miss Liz and today we'll be showing you all how to create this really cute and simple ladybug craft using materials that you all most likely have lying around your homes. So to get started, the materials we will be using today include some colored paper. We will be using green paper to create the leaf. We will also be using red and black paper to create the ladybug. If you don't have any colored paper at home, you can always use white paper and just color it in with markers or crayons. We also will be using a black marker, a green marker, a glue stick or bottle of glue, whatever you have, a pair of scissors, and an optional item includes some googly eyes. If you don't have any googly eyes at home, you can always just draw eyes right onto your ladybug's body or you can even draw eyes onto white paper and glue them on that way. So to get started, the first step in our ladybug project is drawing, drawing our leaf. So what we're going to do is take our green paper, as you can see I just have a piece of scrap paper, and what I like to do to draw a leaf is just draw kind of a little bit of a curved line, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, and then I will draw two kind of half circles on either side of that line and then connect them. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can kind of just draw some lines on either side here to just give your leaf a little bit more detail. So once you have your leaf drawn out, go ahead, cut that out, and you'll have something that will look like this. Our next step is creating the ladybug's body. What you'll have to do for that is you'll have to cut two strips of black paper. You'll want to use the shorter edge of your paper and you'll want to make sure that both strips are relatively the same size. So just go ahead. You don't want to make them too wide because you'll have to fit your ladybug on that leaf. And just cut out two strips of black paper and again try to make them relatively the same size. Okay, and once you have those cut out. You might want to pick one that seems a little bit wider than the other. This one will be for the ladybug's body and you'll kind of just curl it to make um, a little bit you know like of a roll here and you'll want to cut the, the excess off there and then you're just going to glue it so you'll have um, a little roll just like that. So go ahead put a little bit of glue on the end there of your black strip and then you might just have to hold it down for a second or two to secure it so it'll look something like that and this will be the portion we will use for our ladybug's body and then you'll want to go ahead and do the same thing with your second strip of black paper however this one will be slightly smaller because you'll be using it for the ladybug's head so you can actually just go ahead um, and shorten it right now instead of having to cut that access off. So once you shorten it, put a little bit of glue on the end there, roll it up. You might have to hold it again for a second or two and then you'll have a smaller roll that looks something like this. All right, so then you're gonna take your leaf and you'll have your larger roll here. You can kind of position the ladybug however you want. So I think we'll have them facing this way. Then you're gonna take your glue, put some glue on the leaf here. Glue the first larger roll down for your ladybug's body. And then the second roll will go right here on top for his head. So you'll actually just wanna put some glue on the outside of that larger roll and then hold the smaller roll down, hold it for a few seconds, and then you'll have something that looks like this. All right, and like I mentioned before, you can use googly eyes if you have some at home to just glue them on for your ladybug's eyes. If you don't have any, you can always just use a white crayon and draw some eyes on, or you can even make eyes out of white scrap paper, whatever works best for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue my googly eyes on. Again, you might just have to hold it down for a second or two. All right, 
And then our next step is creating the ladybug's wings. So you're going to go ahead and get your red paper out. As you can see, I just have some more scrap paper. And if you're not very good at drawing circles like I am, you can use something you might have around the house to trace a circle. So I'm just using a mid container. You can freehand it if you're a, a better artist than I am, but I always like to trace my circles. Okay, so go ahead, have your circle, then you're going to take your black marker and just draw some black polka dots on that circle to make it look like ladybug wings. Okay, you're going to go ahead and get that cut out. Once you have it cut out, look something like this. Then you're going to go ahead and just cut right down the middle of this circle here. So you'll have two halves that look just like this. And then you're going to glue these on to the ladybug's body to basically look like wings. So you can just add a little bit of glue on the end there. You don't really need a lot. And then carefully glue it on to the ladybug's body. And again, you might have to hold it. Hold it down for a second or two. Go ahead, get that other half glued on. Hold it down for a second or two. And then once you're done, you have your completed ladybug project. So I hope you all had fun with today's Maker Monday project. As always, stay tuned for more projects in the future. If you'd like to learn more about ladybugs, don't forget to check out some of our online resources at newlinuxpubliclibrary.org. Browse through A to Z resources, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.